Here is a regular Freud model. If we go to the face game object and open up the blend shape drop down menu, we can see a list of all blend shapes for facial expressions. We have some for mouth, some for eyes, and some for brows. All of them can be combined to form these five expressions angry, fun, joy, sorrow, and surprise. In a past video, I've already shown you how you can mix and match these blend shapes to create new facial expressions. However, it's still very limited, especially if you want to use your Freud models for VTubing. So the only solution is to add new blend shapes to our Freud models, which is exactly what this video is all about. In this other model, there are a lot of new blend shapes, like cheek puffing, half smiles, and even tongue out. So, how can we copy these blend shapes from this model to our model? This is where my tool comes in. I'll say it right away that this tool will only work on Feroid models, and there are two versions of it, the free one and the paid one. I'll show you the differences further into the video, but the summary is that you don't need to use the paid versions to copy blend shapes from one model to another. And if you are planning to buy this, I highly encourage you to try the free version first before you make the purchase. There are two things you need to do before using this tool. Number one, you must have UnifyRM plugin already installed in your Unity project. I already made a full video on how to do that, so feel free to check it out. I will also include a template Unity project with UnifyRM and URP shaders already installed. So all you need to do is to open that project in Unity. Number two, when exporting your character in Feroid Studio, open the Reduce Polygons option and uncheck Delete Transparent Meshes. Then export the VRM file and import it to Unity. If you don't uncheck that Delete Transparent Meshes option, this tool will give you an error notification and you won't be able to use it. To get this plugin, go to my coffee page and download the Unity package file. Then, to install this package in Unity, Click on the Assets menu, Import Package, then click on Custom Package. Find the folder from earlier and choose either NapLite or NapPro Unity Package. Make sure everything is selected and click Import. You should now see NAP folders appear in your project window. Check out the console window to make sure that there are no error messages related to NAP. To use this tool, just drag the prefab on the nap folder to the hierarchy window. And that's all the installation done. Now, the only problem is that we need a model to copy blend shapes from. You can copy them from any Feroid models, but I'd like to use this one from Hinska on GitHub. Link is in the description. Click on Releases, and choose either male or female VRM model. Then save it into your Unity project. In the project window, click on this new model and change the import setting as usual. If you check the console window, there is a big chance you'll find a lot of yellow warnings. This is not a problem, it's just how Unity and UnifyRM works. We can just clear it no problem. We can now drag this model into the hierarchy window to see if it's imported correctly. We can open the face and there is a list of the blend shapes we want to copy. If you pick up NapLight, Blend Shape Transfer is the only tool you get from it, so I'm going to explain how to use it. Let's click on NapLight game object again. Drag the Hinska model into Source field and your model into Target field. Then click Copy Blend Shape. That's it! This tool will automatically find your character's faces and copy the blend shapes from Source model to the Target model. Sure enough, we can now open our character face and see all the new blend shapes and test it out. No problem here. Now, if you only need these blend shapes for VTubing, then this tool is all you need. You don't need to get Nap Pro. Now all you need to do is to export this model using VRM1 menu and click export. Exporting this is very important because any blend shapes you added or modified in your Feroid model won't be safe when you close Unity. This is just how Unity works, and I want to be very transparent to you about the current limitation of this tool. 
and this limitation applies to both NapLite and NapPro. Right now, I'm still looking for a way to work around this issue, and I will update this tool if I find it. But for now, when you close Unity, this tool will remind you to export your Fluoroid models, so you don't just lose all of your changes. With that being said, sometimes you might find some weird bugs here and there, like how the eyes here don't close entirely with this model. Or if you're an advanced user, you might want to rename or remove particular band shapes that you don't like. Or if you're a Unity game developer using Fluoroid models, you might want to combine several band shapes into one. If any of this is true to you, then you might want to consider getting NetPro. NetPro gives you three advanced tools, Blendshape Organizer, Calibrator, and Combiner. Blendshape Organizer works similarly to Blendshape Transfer. You put in your source and target model into the fields and load it. But this time, you can see the list of all Blendshapes before committing it to your model. In this Blendshape list, you can remove them, you can rename them, and you can reorder them however you like. When you're ready, just click Finalize Blend Shape, and it's done! We can see our model now has the blend shapes we organized earlier. Then, if you want to change to the other models, you can click on the Unload button and load in a new model. Do note that you cannot just add new blend shapes by clicking on the plus button. That just creates a duplicate of the last item in the blend shape list. If you want to create new blend shape, you want to use blend shape combiner. Blend shape combiner allows you to create new blend shapes from the combination of multiple blend shapes. Just like before, put in your model and load it in. The first setting is the slider range. This will allow you to go beyond the normal 100 limit in every blend shape. We can even go to the negatives, which may have some unique effects that I will get to in the next part. For now, let's create a new tired or annoyed facial expression by combining several blend shape sliders. Okay, and now we can name this new blend shape facial or tired, and then click create new blend shape. Right away, you can see a new blend shape with that name was added on the bottom of the list. And sure enough, this new blend shape works as intended. Out of all features in this tool, this is probably my most proudest work. You can do so much with this, create so many facial expressions that are not included in the default Feroid models. Last but not least is the Calibrator which is more of a fixing tool for messy blend shapes. Special variations between models are unavoidable, but since we're copying the same blend shapes to all of them, things can get rather messy. This model has no problem with the new eye closed blend shapes, but this one does, where the eyes are not closed properly. I do notice that this tends to happen if you use models that are made in the Fluid Studio beta version, but it might also happen in a new version as well. The obvious fix is that it just needs the blend shape's value to go over the 100 limit, which is what this tool does. So let's load this new model into the calibrator. Let's set the max slider range to 150 and find the eye blink left slider. Let's find a value where the eyes close entirely, but not too much. And then click Set. Repeat for blink right. And sure enough, the eye blend shape now closes properly. So the calibrator works by changing the max value for the blend shape and scale it down so it fits the 100 range. Aside from fixing blend shape mishaps, you can use this calibrator to create your own customizable expression. Every character in anime usually has their own amount of facial expression. Serious characters usually have more muted expression, which can easily be done by setting the blend shape value below 100. While cheerful characters usually have exaggerated expressions, so blend shape value above 100. But just like with the combiner, interesting things happen when we set the slider range value below 0, which 
flips the blend shape around. So in this case, the character actually looks eerily heavy when angry blend shape is below zero. And here is the experimental part of the plugin. You can choose to make this new value a completely separate blend shape. First, put in the name of the new blend shape at the top. And then you can click on the add button next to the blend shape. And voila! Now there is a new blend shape with the exact value, which is the complete inverse of the original blend shape. Um, for real though, I'm not sure how you can use this negative blend shape feature. I just added it in because it's a fun feature. Let me know if you have any ideas on how to use this negative blend shape in the comment section down below. And that's pretty much it for Not Enough Blend Shape plugin. As I said before, don't forget to export your model before closing Unity or your progress won't be saved. If you find any bugs or glitches or any new features that I should add into this plugin, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll see if I can work on it. If you feel that this tool will help you, then feel free to get it on my coffee page, link in the description. By getting NetPro, you will help support me on making these kinds of tools and tutorials for everyone. And if you want to support me even further, consider becoming a patron and a channel member on YouTube. And you will also get NetPro for free as the welcoming gift. Special thanks to Javi and my other patrons for supporting this hobby of mine. You guys are awesome. And with that, I think I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.